Greetings, students, and welcome back to Book of Dawn IOP Academy. I'm your game master, tormented by gnomes. Joining me is my phenomenal cast, consisting, of course, of Crowen, Leg Day, Lemon Kiwi, and Necra. Crowen, how are you doing? How are things? How you been on the school break? <laughs> been good on the school break. Returning to. Are we still on Trauma Week? Is that still a thing? Trauma Week ends tomorrow. Oh, Actually, wait, so trauma. We're still yeah, on trauma tomorrow. Week. Tomorrow's the start of the week. It's a weekend day. The <laughs> teachers are going to give a a, a post trauma a trauma post mortem, and then classes <laughs> resume the day after that. So we are wrapping up trauma week, which is okay. what we've been doing for the past three months of real time mm -hmm. or so. Yeah, that's fine. That's <laughs> uh, yeah, good. eight week campaign gamers. Eight week campaign. <laughs> Episode thirty nine, by the way. Good to be back though. Excited to play again. <laughs> Fantastic. Leg day, what's going on in your world? Uh, we fucking killed it in our NGO. Let's go! <laughs> Let's we're, go! We're, we're, we, we've chased all the owls out of Tarsalmoor. It, it, was, it was a good couple <laughs> weeks for those of us who were on the show, and it was, uh, I'm very proud of all of us. It's been a, it's been a good time. That's yeah. exactly, exactly what we love to hear. Super proud of all of you. Uh, speaking of which, Lemon, what's new in your world? What he said. <laughs> that's, that's all that's new <laughs> really understandable have a nice day <laughs> oh hey necro how's it going i haven't seen you in a while oh hey yeah long time no see yeah super weird uh how are know, things there's double entendre there right because like it actually has been a long time since it's been on ioth academy but i also <laughs> just saw y'all yesterday true um true <laughs> it's good though i'm excited to be back i've heard that there have been some shenanigans afoot i mean it wouldn't be so. our magic school show if there were no shenanigans right that's part <sighs> that's and parcel with this whole thing yeah so i i want to be a part of some of the shenanigans they sound fun all right so. <laughs> well uh quite a bit has happened for those of you just joining us this is an ongoing magic school fifth edition campaign our heroes are in their fifth year of classes their age 15 16 or so uh they've only killed one god yeah and it was only a small one, one. so I mean, they started it a small much. one yeah we're working our way up yeah it was a he small was god cons he was considered small mm -hmm. i mean he, he, he isn't small enough that it doesn't consistently annoy gnomes that this god's act of god cards keep getting drawn from the deck. <laughs> I fixed that. I fixed that, by the by way. <laughs> Yo, you've, you've removed wow. the Boreas act of gods because he yes. is a slain motherfucker. Boreas, the north wind who was killed in his attack on Ioth Academy, is no longer in the act of god deck. And his father, Vindur, is on temporary probation because he is having big sads about his son being killed by a bunch of 15-year-olds. That's fair oh, my bad. <laughs> Our bad. Good murder, Garnet. <laughs> Good murder, Garnet. <laughs> All right. When we last left our heroes, they were standing in the office of the Archmage, Ioth, now since vanished into his own creation, the Book of Dawn, they came here so that Athalor could consume a piece of crystallized blood that was lying on Ioth's desk. By eating that, Athalor's mysterious uncle, a mental entity that has been with him for as long as he can remember, his powers were amplified and he was able to search across the planet to help Garnet find her mother. He did, in fact, find something. Or someone and he has just recently returned from that reverie and shared what he learned with the party meanwhile renan their new friend who emerged from the book when alexander vanished just cast an augury over the book of dawn asking whether good or ill would ensue if he messed with the book's incredible power the answer unhelpfully was both that is where we last left our heroes. You know that tomorrow the teachers are going to make an announcement about the fact that the headmaster has gone missing, the school has been attacked by gods, uh, invaded by nightmares, so on and so forth. So, But last night, or earlier today, on your way up to this office, you were able to spy on their meeting. So you have a bit of an idea of what's going on with them and what some of that news is going to be already. You have a sneak peek. 
have our heroes accomplished everything they set out to do in this office? Do they have any further questions before they move on? We. Oui. Uh, could I? So, Alex just rolled some. Or sorry, not Alex. Sorry, didn't mean to wrong name you. Uh, Renan just rolled some sussy dice on the Book of Dawn. Did we notice? Can we check? Or not sus, but you know, it's a spell we haven't seen you done. Was he at all subtle about it? No, it'd be be pretty obvious. He'd be Mm -hmm. pulling out of his pocket a bunch of tiny looking snake teeth and just kind of like shaking them in his hand a little bit and tossing them out onto the desk and then studying them, kind of frowning a little bit. Just like studying them for a few moments before he'd collect them and put them back in his pocket. Would we know what this spell is? If by any y- chance? you can roll an Arcana check, and if the augury spell is on your spell list, you have advantage on this roll. What cla- or what divination type? If you don't believe that it's on your spell list, we're going to say it's not. <laughs> okay, I don't know where my character does. Okay, <laughs> yeah, it's the augury spell. If you scroll up in chat, you will not see a description. Oh, yeah. You know, if you scroll up in chat, you totally will see a description of the spell and what it does. Who's there? You basically ask the universe, hey, if I do this thing in the next 30 minutes, will it result in woe, which is bad, wheel, which is good, or both? You didn't hear the question he asked, though, when he rolled the bones. I figured. (laughs) I think Garnet would probably try and... Just be like, oh, what are you up to? Uh oh, um, well, I mean the this book is the result of everything that's happened, right? The cause of it, why I'm here, part of why I'm here. Yes, yeah, so, it's your dad in a way. Kind of. Or mother, more so, maybe? Since I never mind, we don't have to go there. Um maybe. I don't yeah. think books have pronouns, to be honest. Maybe not. Probably not. I don't know. But parental figure in some sense, probably. So I was wondering, you know, maybe if mm, could do something with it to, like, you know, learn more about it. So I was just, you know, consulting powers above, seeing what might happen if I did it. Not that I'm going to, but just if. And DM check, do we know, we know for sure that if you do anything with the book, it drains Dawn magic permanently, or is that? It's too early to say if you do anything with the book. You know that once Dawn magic is expended, it can't be reversed back into its primordial form. You also know that the book already contains a huge amount of Dawn magic. Last time, some sort of connection was set up where it started to drain the magic from the Academy, but it is also a reservoir of Dawn magic in and of itself. So we don't know that using the Book of Dawn uses Dawn magic, or the Dawn magic reservoir. Uh, I'm pretty sure Ariana knows. I do. Yeah, Ariana knows. I'm not there right now. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. That's all I had. Okay. (laughs) Would our I'm heroes myself back here? I'm, I'm not. I'm not here. <laughs> Putting yourself in timeout. Okay. <laughs> Is there anything Ren- else that the hero, our heroes, would like to do? Yeah, Renan would would ask. Um, I think technically, even though I came from that, you will probably know more about this book. I know we talked about it kind of before, but do you think it'd be like a bad idea to like do more stuff with it, or a good idea? Because when I came out, then you all said it was okay for me to use it, and then I tried to see who this, uh, um, who your friend Alex uh, was uh, with it, tried to like locate them, and then some other things too. But is that like an off-limits thing now, or is it still okay? I mean, we weren't supposed to be here really, but we are here, so... Um, well, I think the only person who really knew how to use it, we saw disappear in front of it. So, it's uh, a it's a little bit risky. Okay, okay. Hmm. Okay. I mean, we don't have to. I'm, are you? Go ahead. 
I'm just, um, maybe we should just see if there's anything here we can do to help Master L now. Did she mention anything that might be needed in here? Um, and, and another thing to that is the last time the book was open, it was draining the barrier or and yeah. Ioth closed it and I'd be worried about trying to open it without any anyone uh, with expertise around this time. Uh, and oh yeah, for El now, oh yeah, DM check for the notes. So we know that she won't she won't be headmistress until they know about the sphere. Correct. The council is unwilling to give her the title of Archmage until the sphere is explained, because the sphere of annihilation that you accidentally conjured in your first year here is void magic, and everybody knows that El now is the practitioner of void magic in the area. So until that is explained, and they are assured that her magic doesn't present some sort of a threat to the academy, they're not going to give her the big chair. Vibe check on the WMD. <laughs> um, well, there's nothing here per se that will help El now that, that, that I know of but you guys think I should just come forward about the sphere that's what's holding her back and she's trying to protect me but I don't know I feel like I'm holding her back now I f feel like from what I understand of the situation it's probably a bad look either way right because she like does stuff with you and if she's like kept it hidden for a long time like taught you so I don't know I think it's probably something that's worth discussing with her first there's always a chance that she might be using it as some kind of draw card like implying that she has the power to generate those at will oh Maybe. Okay. Well, shouldn't stay here for too long. Yeah, that would that would probably be uh, a little bit more expelling than I'm comfortable with. <laughs> you guys done here, Brennan? Are uh, you good with the book? Mm-hmm. I'm I'm good. Got another chunk of this in case we need to um see the world. Are our heroes done up here in the Archmage's office? They have no desire to poke around any further, see any of what, these What about curious... What about the other doors? Oh, there are four of the doors at the top. Fuck. <laughs> Do we want to just, like, walk by and just be like, little peek, <laughs> we, we, little we can mosey. Peek. Do any of them open to the touch? <laughs> well, pick a door, any door, and we can talk. Let me scroll. Down the map. Oh, I guess we can just move ourselves down the map. Mm -hmm. On this thing lags. You guys tell me though. Uh. Are the top two statues Gelgeist and Isle? The statues are top left is Gelgeist, top right is Doakai, one of Ioth's companions. Mm. Bottom right is one of his other companions. Bottom left with the hat, that's Ioth. Mm. I'm so the door yep. between this mm. one. <laughs> this one here? <laughs> the, the love nest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the door is not locked. For whatever reason, it seems like Ioth believed that the security on his whole office suite was sufficient except for his office itself. Boom. Okay. Uh, I guess Athelor tries to push the door open. All right. It opens and swings easily, allowing you access. Can you see it? I can see something quite weird. Ah, There's a huge a... face staring <laughs> back at you with crystalline um, eyes. Uh, it reflects every ew. bit of light that emanates from the torches on the walls. <laughs> Hi? Is this an opening over here, like a, a spire sewage? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it is not. I mean, it is an opening and it is leaking something, but it seems like it's been mostly dry for a long time. There are a couple of puddles of some light blue translucent liquid, slightly gelatinous that are... I can't detect thoughts. Okay. 
you do not detect any sentient creatures in the area. Can I um, try and identify this? Is identify thing? a touch spell? Oh, sorry, not the spell, not the <laughs> spell identify, but all can right, I use right. my eyes to identify? <laughs> that, that's my a brain. Good question. <laughs> okay, are you using perception to just get a good look at it, or are you using Arcana to see if you can tell what the heck is going on? With the choice, Arcana, and wondering, would I get any advantages due to magical entities or any magical creature knowledge? Uh, yes, yes, I will allow that for that class that you took. Okay. Arcana with advantage. That is a natural Ooh, 20. Baby. And you don't have any of the disadvantages that have been slung in this chat thus far. <laughs> don't worry, I'm tanking. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you are. <laughs> what did you do? Main tank life. <laughs> this... I, I, made, I made a book pun. This is a golem under construction, a crystalline golem, extremely sophisticated magic beyond any of the known forms of golem that you would encounter. It doesn't look like anyone's worked on it for a long time. And says that to the party. Mm -hmm. uh... oh, this must be some almost like unique isle level magic. Athol is just going to straight up idiot wander in and see if there are any books on any of the tables okay hey look there's a book on the table right there <laughs> I, I desire this book <laughs> oh maybe that'd be maybe that's the key to figuring out what was going on with this okay Athalorish just in book hunter mode yeet yeet no concern okay <laughs> and you're just gonna go ahead and set your hands on it uh <laughs> What does the book like look that. like? Does it look does it look as menacing as the artwork here would imply? Yes, there's a face carved into the front of it, and the cover is made from sandstone, magically and alchemically treated. <laughs> In which case, it's Mei Chan time. <laughs> the book is heavy; it is more than ten pounds. What to open the cover? Oh no, you can open the cover if you want. The cover isn't yeah. ten pounds. All right, so uh, you're just gonna I'm open gonna, it. I'm gonna have a flick through. Okay, leaf, leaf through a baby. All right. Uh, all sorts of eldritch runes. It appears to be a combination of Ioth's own unique script and some other magical diagrams, some crafting instructions. Uh, are are you giving it like a good solid read or are you just sort of briefly... Just kind of on tiptoes. Like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seeing if when I flip through it, like any <laughs> things come out, you know? Um, yeah. It's just a boo-boo trapped book. <laughs> It looks really, really complicated. Mm -hmm. It didn't explode. There are no All rune right. glyphs of warding or explosive runes on it, as far as you can tell. Okay, I'm going to float forward the quill and touch it to some of the writing. Ooh, okay. As the quill touches it, the writing glows with a golden light. Okay, so I think this is Ioth's... I, I don't know, in, inventing new magical techniques or something? Oh, I really want it. Should we why take is he, it? Why is he building a <laughs> golem? I don't it's know. For security? Maybe, maybe he thought that with the, with the barrier being drained because of what he was doing with the book in there, maybe we needed other forms of defense and this creepily... Just sort of like edges away from the crystalline, I think. Could have been um, one of them. Garnet, you got a natural 20. This has not been worked on in hundreds of years. The only reason yeah. that it's like not covered in dust and such is because this place is extremely magical. It hasn't been touched. How long ago, like not within this lifetime situation? Or... Not within a human lifetime. Definitely, I mean, I ought, you know, thousands of years old, but definitely not within oh. a human lifetime. How big would this golem be if I were to size up its head and use proportions with my brain? Sheesh. I mean, just looking at this thing, it would be at least huge size, if not gargantuan size. Three by three or four by four on a battle mat. Absolute yeah, just unit. The, just the head is two by two. Mm-hmm. It's taking the time to like study the appearance so that maybe I can recreate it with minor illusion to show Ariana later. Okay. And just kind of tells the party about like, well, Ariana talks to sick a lot and that's a 
fucking construct, right? So you'll know more about this and maybe what's going on. Got a lot of projects going here, it sounds like. Yeah, maybe Flight's a fancy. Maybe he abandoned this to start on the book. Or, wait, history check. How mm -hmm. many years ago were the companions getting fucked with? Uh, roll it. <laughs> with advantage, because you're a huge freaking nerd. And then okay, disadvantage, so, then. yeah, we're burning one of your disadvantages. Oh, yes, nerdiness. Thank you, <laughs> Luminian history. Two total. Uh, yeah, actually, the timeline matches up exactly. When Erekura was slain, and when Zethius and his minions infiltrated the Academy, and the Mage Civil War occurred, Ioth was probably probably stopped working on this shortly right around that time frame. This information is shared with the party. Mm. With this uh, n nat 20, would I know exactly what gives a construct life? Like, what is missing kind of thing? A construct like this is animated through the binding of an elemental spirit. This construct was, its physical construction had not been completed yet. You have to elemental. work on it. You have to physically build the whole thing. Once the whole thing is built and properly prepared, properly polished, properly inscribed with runes, ritually treated, etc. It becomes a physical, like a physical spell matrix. Just like when you channel arcane energy to form a spell matrix before casting it, magic items are physical spell matrices. This is, would be an extremely complex one, which is why the instructions are so exacting. Every facet needs to be specific. You have to change the runes based on the dimension of the thing, and then you have to summon the right kind of elemental spirit. And to animate something of this power would take an incredibly strong elemental bound into it. Another history check mm -hmm. might, might have another disadvantage. Would the kind of elemental that would presumably go into a crystalline golem be weakened by the death of their Akira? Mm, that'd be a nature or arcana, not history. Oh, uh, well, there's a disadvantage arcana. See if we get lucky. Oh, we do not get a lucky. Two. Nice. Ooh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> we take those. For those watching on podcast, that is a six and a nine. <laughs> nice. No joy. No joy on that front, unfortunately. Well, the idea persists. But if this is... Maybe this was some kind of collaboration between Ericure and Ioth, or maybe he just got distracted by his house kind of falling apart. What do you think, Renan? Renan this whole time is very distracted. Just went and looked at like all the cabinets and stuff. Is like up in the statue's face, like poking it. Just like, <laughs> like go look through everything. Roll an investigation and, check for me, please, is... Renan. Sure, okay. sure. <laughs> investigation. Hey, investigate this initiative. Roll it. <laughs> <laughs> Roll to investigate these Flat nuts. Um, Ten. <laughs> So, you, there are research notes and tools all over. This is like an artificer's workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, all, all sorts of different crafting. For the most part, this equipment was being used to sculpt the golem to move its pieces around. Take measurements, enchant it. But there's, there's research and scribbled notes all over the place in Ioth's handwriting. You don't find anything else specific, but you're just sort of seeing all these gizmos and gadgets all over the place. When you hear your name yeah. called. Yeah. And here's something. It's like, hmm, what? Someone say something? Uh, a... what, what did you find? Oh, uh, there's just a bunch of notes. I mean, presumably for this thing that's getting worked on here. Um, yeah, nothing special. Just is notes. This just triggering you your, things. like, deja vu memory things? Mm. Let's see. No, I don't think so. Okay. Next room then. Uh before before we leave, um okay. Uh Athol's gonna see if anything purchases when trying to form a telepathic bond with the head of this thing. <laughs> no, nothing. It's an empty vessel. Okay. It's In rock. which case Athelor <laughs> 
creates a telepathic bond with Garnet and then goes to pick up the book. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> you set your hands on the book. It's very heavy. But it, it's okay. It, I've it got lifts 12 off. strength. <laughs> I'm jacked, man. Okay. You're I'm, jacked mentally. I'm stealing this. <laughs> Add a <laughs> manual of golems to your inventory. Manual of golems. There is a door to the north. Is there anything, any rare artificer shit here, or is this just. Wait, the roll wait. investigation. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'll take the first one. I fucked up. Okay, a 16. There is one thing that strikes you as odd. Actually, two things. One, a lot of these notes seem to be derived from Tarsal Moore's research. <gasps> well, Steeler. And two, <laughs> in a metal coffer, in uh, this steel coffer right here, is a wax seal, like, like a mold, all right? The negative of something. And it looks like a heart. And I don't mean a Valentine's heart. I mean like a heart. Like anatomy heart? Like. <laughs> oh. Does it, does it look crystalline like stone? Mm, no, but I would allow religion, nature, or arcana in this case. I mean, we had some kind of religion demis a lot. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> okay. This is no mortal heart. This is a wax imprint of a, the heart of a titan. <gasps> Who's titan? Any titan? A titan? You, you've identified it as the heart of a titan. Probably a titan derived from Arakura, one of Arakura's offspring. Hmm. It has telltale signs of stone to it. Again, the heart itself is not here. It's as if the heart was pressed in wax and then removed. You can make a heart out of wax? I take mental images as though taking pictures with my brain okay. in order to minor illusion this later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's a door to the north. Oh. <laughs> Do you feel lucky? Do you want to go fetch your friend yeah. before you continue to poke around? We, 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 we should grab Ariana. Will we even be able to get back? Can we just like... Can we just like <laughs> that? involving Necra? Yeah, can we just like speed run? It's more fun if Necra's here than if she's not here. So we will we'll have her uh, make her way up to the tower on unrelated reasons. We'll figure it out later. We'll, we'll bring her into this scene. This stumbles up the stairs. Hello, Sig's office. Sig's <laughs> office, and then we. There you go, Sig's office. Yeah. We'll actually we'll flash back to what you are talking about in Sig's office because I had intended to do that. Yeah. Scene transition. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> you literally have that. I literally so have good. that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It. After having a conversation with Sig. And Ariana, hmm. Sig is going to be giving the announcement tomorrow and wants to know if you have any plans for anything to change when your studies resume. After everything that's happened, have you given any additional thought to your future? Nope. Okay. Head empty. <laughs> Only food. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Well, I think we should continue our studies together. I think that while we're making a great deal of progress in the realm of arcane botany, we aren't any closer to figuring out why things around you occasionally light on fire. And ah, I could good... use a long-term assistant with my work here 
but we're going to need to nail down this spontaneous combustion bit before we can talk about that. That makes a lot of sense. So I don't accidentally light our projects on fire. Right. Huh. So, uh, so what do I do to figure that out I'm, exactly? It's not really my area of expertise. Uh, there's a lot going on at the Academy right now. I'm going to talk to Red Knob to see if he can divine any possible hmm. answers to your past, to your origins, to your magic, or at least point us towards somebody who might be able to help us. Hmm. Okay. But we'll handle that. Uh, your studies have been delayed long enough. I will have that conversation with him. We'll go about that, but consider it. There's definitely a place for you at the Academy long-term if you keep up your studies. That would be very cool. I will definitely consider it. On a, uh, hmm, how do I put this? Maybe on a less sensitive note. Remember how you told me not to tell anybody that you were made out of multiple people? <laughs> yes. I might have. Only because I thought it was relevant. Because I was curious about something. Can somebody be made out of Dawn magic? Like, like how, you know, you were put together... Could someone be made with dawn magic I'm, in the same way? I mean, if you think about it, everyone's made out of dawn magic originally. So I don't see why it wouldn't be possible, but it would take a very, very advanced mind to be able to form a new mind. Does that make sense? To deliberately... We're all... You are all imbued with the power to create new life unconsciously. But mm -hmm. to do it deliberately would require a, a magic of an incredible complexity and skill. Okay, so it's possible. Yes. But you'd have to be really, really gifted mm -hmm. to be able to make it work. Yes. Well, what if that person was... Ioth. Ioth. Ioth was, he was one of the first minds. He dwelt in the Dawn era. He emerged when the world was set loose to dance. What do you mean? Nobody created him. Oh, yeah, but, uh, but, but what if he could create other people? If anyone could do it, it would be him. Create himself? Yeah, what if he created him? Yeah, himself. Are we talking about a, a, a second self out in addition to him? Maybe like a duplicate, like a clone. But like, could it? I don't know. Such I don't know what's possible. I just cloning just magic exists. It absolutely exists. But the new body that is created is a lifeless vessel, devoid of a soul. So they wouldn't be like a like a person. Normally, like, no. Like you it's a, or me. Consider it a backup body. In the event that your living body dies, if the cloned body is still fresh, then your soul has a new vessel and it can immediately transfer to it. But a soul that underwent such a transfer would retain its knowledge and powers. Huh. Okay, good to know. That's all. I can't speak for what is and isn't possible through dawn magic. Only Ioth would know, and Ioth is not talking. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, that, that <laughs> makes sense. Um, okay, well, I, I will give that some thought, and I'll give... Back to you after, uh, yeah. Everything Don't forget to study well. for midterms. I know it's been a hectic time, but those tests are coming back. Oh, right. right. 
Right. Uh huh. I'll get on that. I promise. All right. Sig nods and goes back to his work, leaving you, perhaps in a spur of curiosity on the topic of Dawn Magic and creating new people, uh, leading you right back into Ioth's office, which is where we rejoin our heroes and recommence our scene. Hello? Hey, we're um in the... Yeah, you can follow my voice, the creepy girl on Oh. Room. I guess like finding <laughs> finding the open doorway. <laughs> <laughs> finding the open door into a jet. Jeez, what the what is the, whoa, why are you guys here? Hello? Um exploring slash stealing slash curiosity, you know, just Okay, don't say we things. and that. You started taking <laughs> things. <laughs> I thought it was just like holding this big ass book. Yeah. I will I'm not gonna ask. Uh Huh. So so you guys are just looking around? We've not seen this room before, have we? Nope. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've never seen anything like that either. Hey, silly goofy question, Ariana. Is there a way to make a Titan heart and then put it inside of a golem and make it move? For asking for a friend. Me. I'm a friend. <laughs> As Pop the quiz. golem is sitting right there, and the wax case is right there. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm assuming, yeah, that that's a that's a golem, and that's a heart, a, a mold of what Ew. was one. Ew, oh, but it's yeah, it's like moving. Oh, yeah. why is it moving? We think that Ioth was building this. Um. And from what Garnet could determine, it stopped a while ago. Probably around the same time that I think uh, the technical term is a lot of shit went down here. Hey, oh, weird. so like a couple Garnet weeks ago. Too. More than that. <laughs> Honestly, fair question. <laughs> True. There, there are multiple <laughs> tiers of shit going down here. <laughs> and don't, you, don't you need a heart of a titan in order to make the negative... I think you would have to make. Uh, I think you'd have to have one in order to make the mold. That would make sense, because it's it's like iron casting or jewelry making. You have to have the the place to put the metal in the design, and then let it harden. Okay, so do we know anything about the children of Erakura or what happened to their body? Athlaw says, as walking over towards Renin, who I assume is in character by this door. <laughs> oh, Crown's muted. Oh, Renin is in the process of opening the door. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what <could> happen? <laughs> that was a bad door. That was a bad an door. Active do an active door. Uh-oh. Whim of the waves. An omen appears. Crowan, roll a die. Even is Bane. Odd is Boon. Ooh, Gamba. Do we That's all about these binary facts. Actual TFT uh, move. It's 50-50. <laughs> you remember, you still have There's... that coin of fate. Yeah, that's true. That gives you either a natural um, one or a, or a natural 20. Uh, odd the is same odd. <laughs> it's about the same it's odds, a, yeah. Just a, D, a d20? You can roll any die as long as it's, you know, a real die. Any die. D100. Big... Let's go. 87. 87. My lucky number. Odd is boon. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Did I say that? It's supposed to be even as good, odd is bad. Oh, you can't change it now. Someone get the roll the VOD. <laughs> roll the, pull the, the VOD. Clip. Pull the I, clip. I, I, I have. <laughs> I, I resumed the stream and paused our end on the card, so I'm looking at it. It does say <laughs> even as bane, odd is boon. The referees are. You said, I don't know what you said. Okay, well, you I'll know what? I'll put in the thing. Le Lebon is a whimsical deity, so a boon is yours. You open the door inside are 10,000 gold pieces. Uh, <laughs> let's open this door, shall we? Inside is a poorly illuminated chamber. None. Oh, there there are so no fun. magic torches or lights in here. 
And I don't think your character has dark vision. Do you? Uh, if you're a dull elf, yeah. you should. Well, elf? Elf no. now, so yeah. Yep. But I, I can always uh, produce flame. Night vision engaged. Whoop. I I certainly have dark vision at least. Yeah. As a and nasty and alpha. Should night vision because... also engaged. The night and vision and the is for night. <laughs> I can see I have like <laughs> stupid dark, dark vision. I have like 200 feet dark vision. Head on in. Do can either of you see yet, by the way? Because I turned it no. on. And if you can't see. No. All right. I, I, I have a cone. <laughs> I can produce flame. Yep. Feels Whatever's so here. All right. Yeah. That. You know what? Light that bitch up. Poof. Flame is produced. Oh! It's for Love Shack. <laughs> you were right. Enough. You were right all along. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, there's a oh, box over here. No. Renan goes to the box. <laughs> Renan's like, oh, I want this. All right. All right. <laughs> Renan's too curious. This room has tapestries of abstract blues. They're almost holographic, woven as they are with metallic threads. Um, Garnet, and I think Athalor, you both find looking at the tapestries vaguely disturbing, like a seeing eye picture that won't quite resolve, but it keeps threatening to resolve into 3D, but it, mm. but it just keeps changing. It almost makes your head hurt to look at it. Ariana, and especially Renan, as the two of you look at it, you see beautiful abstract patterns that move and twist three-dimensionally on each other. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Is this some kind of board? No, it's beautiful. What are you talking about? Oh, that's Looks weird. super yeah. interesting. Looks really cool. Yeah. That one's neat. I haven't really seen anything like that before. I mean, okay, that's a dumb thing to say, but it <laughs> looks really cool. <laughs> okay. Huh. You walk up to the chest. It is locked. There is no keyhole. Instead, there is hmm. a metal plate on the top with a funnel built into it and a spout coming out the front of it. Anyone know what this is? How to open this? So there's a spout coming out the bottom of the funnel? There's a spout coming out where the lock should be. And there is a funnel integrated into the top. Should so we... put something in and then presumably something will happen? Kind of <laughs> Do you want to try putting water Not in pee there? in the funnel. <laughs> uh... I could make some huh. water maybe to put through. The there's like an electrical funnel. device in there. Or something that is not waterproof. Ooh. Well, that's a great question. I could always um, mend it, maybe? Maybe. But just we to didn't confirm. See a key, right? it. Correct. You did not see a key. Okay. And it doesn't appear to be broken. Just took none of you ever seen something like this this kind of box like this with this the funnel in the thing this super weird how wide is original. the funnel i'd say it's <laughs> we said to get it the <laughs> size <laughs> of a coin size of a coin that like an inch you would say mm, no under an inch fuck <laughs> carry on I could put water in it. I don't really know what could, else to can, do. Can Una cast Garnet spells? Yeah. Una can, can deliver, deliver touch Garnet spells. spells. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, what about your spells that would generally just affect you? What are you, what are you up to? What are you trying to... Well, after we... After we killed Boreas, we all felt a little bit weird, right? From being in the Vindor storm. Oh, shit. 
one D one hundred. One second. Thirty-three. As far as you know, nothing happens. Um, <laughs> and you learned how to do a little bit of navigation, right? Just like, kind of blinking at <laughs> what? And like, it's kind of like a misty step. I can misty step. But can Una inside? Turns to DM. <laughs> <laughs> you can certainly try. Meanwhile, Ariana is sitting down next to the next to the chest with a pearl and an owl's feather, muttering an identify spell that will take one minute to cast. Do you think yep. we could maybe make Una teleport inside? You can always just recall them after, right? Right. Yeah. So Misty Step only works if you can see your destination. Yeah, we can. So we if can we look it. into the funnel, do we not see anything? When you look into the funnel, it essentially leads into a metal pipe that immediately starts going off to the side. What about the uh, the spout, the faucet? The spout. It's very difficult to look up in there, but when you take a look, it looks like it's a metal pipe that runs through the chest. Where does the tubing go? You said it mm. leads out. Can we follow where it goes? Well, it, essentially, oh. from the funnel, it goes somewhere into the body of the chest. And from the spigot, from the spout, it comes from somewhere in the body of the chest. But it's so oh. small that you don't really have any visual on it. Mm. Ariana mm. continues to cast. Wait for the Ariana information download, I think. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm down to wait for that. <laughs> okay. You learn its properties and how to use them. Roll an Arcana check for me, please, Ariana. This is a unique piece of Ioth's magic. Oh, 24. Ooh. Okay. This chest uses some extremely sophisticated magic. There is a network of lead pipes that run through it, which form a spell matrix. But the qualities of that spell matrix change based on what is poured into it. It needs to be another metal of some kind. And when it's poured in there, it opens the chest and keys it to a specific extra dimensional space. Oh, man's got a, he's got Damn. an interdimensional lockbox. What kind of fucking lock is this? He's got an ender chest. <laughs> Wait, that's wild. All right, I guess Athel Athel Athelor is going to see if a heart has juice. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's just an empty yeah. wax. It's just the mold, mold of, of a heart. No heart juice. Oh, well, can't we just... Well, there's metal and stuff on the ground and... There? What if we just uh, took some of that? I could create a bonfire real quick. Please Melt don't it. do it Melt near the bed. Pour it down. <laughs> well, I have... Uh, <clears throat> Would jeweler's tools help? I also have <clears throat> alchemical tools. Yes. yes, the combination of the two, you could create a little alchemical forge. Also, there's some equipment in here that would include a forge. So you oh, could jury rig something. That. It's just a question of what metals you could find and use. Now, Crowan, you've been granted a boon. Thank you. Do you want to conveniently find some uh, spare metals in here so you don't have to dissect anything? I was I actually ready. I was about to get ready to look into this like wardrobe cabinet thingy. So yeah, that I think we're losing you, friend. Do I still have the oh. rest of you? Is it just... Oh, no. Hello, hello, I'm hello. I, I you're think back. it might hello, be you. Back. Crone's fine for me. Yeah, Crone sounds good to I'm me. I'm back? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, you're good. I was... uh, Yeah, yeah Random's going to look into that like cabinet uh, wardrobe thing. Oh, uh, you're going to look right into now. the cabinet so, uh, wardrobe yeah. thing. Use the boon for that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Every <laughs> robe, so that cloak, works. dress, and gown in this chamber is enchanted and made from some of the mm. finest materials. OK, 
Can I steal one? Yeah, absolutely. Describe <laughs> me to too? me what because this, this also is there's some Narnia nonsense going on with this wardrobe. It is bigger on the inside. What? Okay, guys, this is absolutely bonkers. Oh my god, look at this one. <gasps> Garnet. There's this really <gasps> nice red robe. <laughs> We're girling out right now. <laughs> We're just like showing each other yeah. outfits. <laughs> Looking at each one, probably like um, uh, we're probably also casting a lot of detect magic mm -hmm. to like figure out what the what each of the articles of clothing is imbued with. Okay, most of them are just protected against like ever going bad, ever you know, completely sealed against moths, stain proof. Um, can't be cut by normal materials, doesn't give you an armor bonus, but like won't fray, uh, always, mm -hmm. you know, never goes bad in the sun. Every single one of them has at least that level of enchantment. I'm trying to find something cool in here for that boon because originally this was just, oh, you know, there's probably a robe of fashions in there. Uh, a robe of fashions changes. It doesn't disguise, it doesn't like change what you look like. It's not the hat of disguise. But the clothes themselves, the outfit can change to reflect whatever you want it to look like. So let's go ahead and put one of those in there for Renan, since uh, okay. it was his boon. Sure, sure. Renan the others all that. have minor, various minor enchantments. Some of them glow, some of them billow in an unseen wind, some of them smell like beautiful fragrance. He didn't have his like Archmagus robes. He actually was wearing those when he got dragged into the Book of Dawn, which is a legendary magic item. <laughs> he didn't keep those in here. He he kept that on him at all times. Dawn. Are these like anything look like Al now is like a woman's clothing? Like, does she move in? Or is this all like <laughs> I don't know, even any bras here? <laughs> no, no, they everything in here seems to be for Ioth. Though Wait, some of them the, could definitely be enchant, some of them probably have an enchantment where they can shift up as needed. Stasis of disturbing on the bed. Is it perfectly made? No, it's kind of ruffled like that. Does it? <laughs> are there two indents? <laughs> Roll Rare. an investigation check <laughs> to look Poop for signs of scoodly pooping. <laughs> yes, I I am vibe checking girl guys and I. <sighs> Ooh, hmm. vibe checked. Nobody has spent any time in this bed for a very, very long time. Unlucky. Is that his hat in the corner of the room? That is his hat in the corner. Anything cute or special about it? Um, you know, actually, when you look at it, it doesn't look like an Archmage's hat. You should put it on. <gasps> and I put it on just to like goof around. <laughs> is it like too big or is it like a child's? Um, the the craftsmanship isn't perfect on it, uh, and it has an enchantment where when you put it on, stars. Actually, there are no stars yet. Celestial lights flow around it. Comets go streaming by on the fabric, like this holographic look. Whoa. Ooh. Doesn't see the stars, so just thinks everyone just thinks she looks really cool. <laughs> Starts posing. Fancy. Very fancy. Thanks. You should keep it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Add Ioth's holographic hat <laughs> to your inventory. He doesn't need it anymore. Oh, true. <laughs> yeah, you can always we... just make another one in the Book of Dawn. What's the exactly. <laughs> There's a lot of time in there, you know. It's fine. So can we open the box? Uh How? yeah, let's let's go look for some stuff by the the forge in the other room. Cause I, I think I should be able to melt some of the metals and uh maybe pour something in there. Anyone who has coinage or any office. metal objects already can melt those or you can go scavenging around to see what you can find. I I have secret bacon. <laughs> secret bacon. What the? Would you like to melt the secret bacon? <laughs> uh, uh, oh wait. 
question. Mm-hmm. Is there anything in Ioth's office like that we could melt that I could go grab? Mm. Let's see. He's got I wander his, over. He's got his armillary sphere that shows the positions of the four kingdoms. He's got his scale here. Uh, he's got some chandeliers. He's got the gong. Melt down some like sacred gong that's existed for like <laughs> thousands of years. I'll I'll grab the gong and bring it back. I, I need room. this. It's very loud as you bring it over. <laughs> <laughs> it's like dragging it behind. <laughs> it's horrible. Wait, why haven't we tried Ren- this? Renan will go help drag it. It's not very strong. I guess Athel and Gala are still in here. Then. <laughs> Athel, why, we ha- why haven't we tried this? Kind of kneels next to the box, goes right up to the lock or wherever it opens, and just sensually whispers Gelgeis into the <laughs> box. Nothing happens. And just pauses. Oh. Worth a try. Athel is going to take it. the quill out again and try and touch it to the weird tapestry. Ooh, it changes. Wrapping around it. <laughs> Magic carpet? Bigger? How, Stands how on it? it so surfing it? Make it work. It's, I'm trying to think of the best example for this. It's like if you put a magnet near an old CRT monitor. All the colors shift, the perspectives uh, drain infinitely towards it wherever it goes. And as the patterns flow around inside, deeper within, in full 3D, uh, they get dragged around like they're floating in oil or something. And this just attracted all of them to it. Does it look like when they reach the quill, it's like absorbing them? Or is it just like a continuous... It's reacting to them. It doesn't doesn't absorb them, but it definitely messes with them. Oh. Well, that's nifty. Nobody else aside from Ariana. Oh, I, actually, yeah, because it's still the tapestry still hurts your brain. So yeah, that does what it still do hurt I my brain. If I look at it, you see all that f- fancy stuff I just described. Athelor actually just sort of sees like a staticky pattern following it around. Oh, that's it's, pretty cool. Is that guys? The, is that what do you the think of this? Gong? <laughs> yeah. I took this from Ioth's office. Shall it's we heavy. melt this down? The sure. gong is made of brass. What kind of metal? It's brass. Would there be any like remnants in the funnel of any metal that we could... No, it's completely cleaned out. Ariana got a 24 on that Arcana check, right? Yep. Okay, you know it needs to be a precious metal. Oh. Can you identify so metals I would not have dragged the gong all the way over here. <laughs> Some people um, can. I like how you did that first. Just like, oh. <laughs> Some people can. Uh, anybody who has metallurgist's tools, experience, or an alchemi- alchemical kit could also do the same. What about a rat? <laughs> what? A rat? Like Una That's can cool, turn rat. into a rat and has <gasps> advantages on smell perceptions? Mm, that wouldn't help in that case. Wait, what? I would know though, right? Yeah, you have, a- you have jewelry training. <laughs> yeah. Can you smell this? And can you smell the metal? What is Yo, this? Sniff this funnel. What does it smell uh, like? sure. Sniffs the funnel. <laughs> lead. Ugh. <clears throat> oh, good lead. luck to your lungs. <laughs> they have magic health care. You'll be fine. <laughs> Stop breathing. <laughs> Do yeah, we need lead? That's lead. Huh. Can I look around the... <laughs> I like throw up the gong in the corner. <laughs> I, start... <laughs> I start looking around the forge to see if there's any lead lying around. Okay, roll an investigation check. Oh, boy. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Title Ooh. of the episode will be here today, gong tomorrow. Uh... <laughs> God damn it. I like it. A 24. Fun fact one of the key ingredients for this golem was mithril. 
And you have found some. <laughs> yeah, you don't mind if we just shave you a little bit, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, you found enough spare parts that were because it's the assembly's still underway. There was a small, I wouldn't say a stack, wow. but some mithril wire. And that has lead in it? It does not, no. Oh. <laughs> in fact, there's like no lead in this whole room. Oh. Lead would be, if lead wasn't involved in artifice, it'd be more likely to be involved in alchemy. Is, is mithril a precious metal? Extremely more precious than platinum. Hey, hey guys, I didn't find any <laughs> lead, but uh, this golem is made out of some really uh, expensive stuff. Yeah, you should just try a bunch of stuff and see where it brings, right? Because different metals bring it to different places, so just kind of go wild. Cool. Hey, give it a go. I'll start melting down the mithril. Okay. While Ariana, we need to cook, is working over there, <laughs> are the rest of you going to watch and wait, or is there anything else that you're up to? Is there any cool uh, robes I could uh, steal from the wardrobe? Yeah, abs again, it's an extra-dimensional wardrobe, and I didn't actually inventory the whole thing because Ioth has... It's a walk-in closet that you can keep walking and walking and walking. <laughs> and he has like unlimited resources at his disposal. There are fashions from that nobody's ever seen that he made up from stuff he saw during the Dawn era. Gowns and robes that make absolutely no sense to any mortal. But also just every single available color and fashion that you can imagine. Is there anything similar to what the colleagues of Anachronus were wearing in the big vision we saw from a Book of Dawn. Mm, the I other scribes, the name of the organization. No. The scribes, God. no. No scribe cosplay, fuck. No. The scribes are like 50 to 100 feet tall. Oh! Yes. No mini scribe cosplay? <laughs> <laughs> no, unfortunately. Alright, so... Please, uh, I, I can make something up later. I'll add that to my notes. But in the meantime, just if you come up with something, it's in there. All right. Garb for Garnet. <laughs> I, will, I will also take a green colored robe that has uh, uh, like familiar properties of elven fashion. Perfect. I'll take whatever the, the darkest black robe is that also looks vaguely elven. Va there's some Vanta black in there. Ooh. <laughs> Bring out the Vanta black robes. <laughs> it's like, it's so, it absorbs so much light that Garnet can barely see it. <laughs> look, look, guys, I'm Garnet's conscience. <laughs> okay. okay. Ariana has melted the mithril. Is there anything that Renan wanted to do while we were waiting? Uh, Renan's just messing with his robes, just keeps changing them into different things, mm -hmm. trying to find the, the right the right look. He's just like, mm, <laughs> no, not this. What if I make this? To, no. And just like keeps going through things. Mm -hmm. There's also a drinking horn on the wall, by the way. Right next to the hat. Is that that one? Yeah. Can I sniff the horn for what <laughs> was being... Excuse me? <laughs> I would like to sniff to identify <laughs> with nose. <laughs> it has glowing blue runes on it, and it's made from the horn of some great beast. Magical entity identification advantage from class. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> Jutsu, the, lawyer, uh, the lawyer has arrived. <laughs> roll Arcana with advantage. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's from a dragon of some kind. Possibly a drake, dragon. not a not a trueborn dragon. Uh and it's been inscribed with cloud giant runes. That's cool. I can I would I be you able to also roll to that. identify or would you like me to cast identify? Identify spell will work automatically. If you take the time to identify it. But if I roll if you roll, then there's a chance you could figure out what it does, or there's a chance it could go wrong. Hmm, 12. 
Uh, you <laughs> fidget with it, you mess with it, you don't read giant runes, so you aren't really able to figure out how to activate it. It doesn't seem to be incredibly powerful magic. It's probably activated by reading the runes on the side of it. But again, do any of you speak giant? No, but yep. can read anything. Yes, you can read it if, uh, if you're not otherwise occupied. I also have comprehend languages. You could cast comprehend I also languages. do that. You could cast I comprehend languages also. or identify your call. Okay. I will do that while the team works on the middle stuff for All a right. few minutes. Uh, the rune says skull, which translates to cheers. Oh, I speak Swedish. Exactly. <laughs> well, giant language and Swedish are the same, you know. True. So I, so I say skull. And kind of do a cheers motion. I was gonna say I've seen at, at, at Blizzard Arena, Reinforce was the only guy person there taller than me. Um, I believe it. It fills with a mostly translucent beverage with a slight blue tint to it. Oh, you've got a dragon horn of vodka. You drink it, and I hand it to Athelor. But um, is that wise with all the blood of Ericura he's been chomping on? <laughs> It has a yeah. bad mix if you mix those. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I sniff the dragon horn vodka. Hmm, cider. Crisp. Very dry. Uh, I'm, I'm ingesting a lot of weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Very refreshing. Very, very cold. Slightly, I don't know if it's possible for something to taste blue, but it kind of tastes blue. You know exactly what blue tastes like, and it is a blue slush puppy. <laughs> <laughs> but only barely. Only barely. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Is it good? So he just has unlimited Gatorade in his <laughs> bedroom? This is it's also fairly strong. Powerade. It's fairly strong. It's unlimited Faderade. <laughs> Wait, this is alcoholic? Cider. Yeah, hard cider. Oh. Not apple juice. It's a pear cider, Ooh. actually. I, I have a constitution of 12. Do we know <laughs> how much are you drinking? tastes like. I, he's just had a sip of it. <laughs> he's right. like, oh, look at bottoms up, bitches. <laughs> I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> well, do we even know it's alcohol? Because, you know, kid, kids. Teenager. We just I feel like we'd know something is wrong with, like, something tastes yeah, you, off. You guys it. went straight to the hard drugs. You skipped right <laughs> over alcohol. <laughs> That's, that's true. I've been, I've, been, I've been eating sovereign blood. <laughs> <laughs> Crystallized blood, Mordain vapor. <laughs> it's uh, it's not bad. And Athor extends it back to Ghana. Like, do you want to drink this or just put it away or steal it? Because I can't hold on to this book with one hand for long. I will take it. Okay, the Horn of Fader Raid is in your grasp. <laughs> Can I have a sip of it? Hands it to Renan. Chug, 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 chug. <laughs> Renan does not chug. chug. <laughs> Actually, oh, Renan like goes to sip, puts it down, but then I think when Garnet starts to chant chug, like, oh, I mean, and then starts drinking chug, more chug. of it. Okay. <laughs> Roll a constitution saving throw, not for your alcohol tolerance, but for your chug ability. <laughs> okay. God oh, save. No. Is he a keg master? Yeah. 12. All right, there is some loss. There's a little bit of splashing, but overall, you're able to gulp it all down. What's your constitution modifier? Uh, modifier is plus one. Okay. All right. Uh, this counts as two drinks, meaning roll another constitution saving throw. A natural one. You are <laughs> wasted. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, is he actually wasted? He is fucking wasted. He doesn't feel it immediately, but it spreads from his head to his toes over time. This nice, warm, but still brisk, almost like menthol on the skin, you know? A cool, cool, brisk breeze and a fiery, warm glow inside. It feels nice and relaxed. <laughs> and you're toasted. I imagine while this process is going on, Garth's like chug, chug. He's like, okay, okay. And then just a little bit of a little bit of spillage happening, gets all of it down. And then immediate reaction is like, wow, that was that's 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 good. And then just kind of stands there and pull, is just holding it. It just like starts to like sway from side to side, just like staring at the, at the horse. Do I do I more? 
just kind of like wraps arms around Renan. You drank it all, buddy. You're one of us. And just kind of holds him up, but it like doesn't notice he's <laughs> drunk because doesn't even know what that is. Mm -hmm. Good job. Yep, that was. Uh, yep. Yep. Thanks, Ariana. <laughs> I'm good. Um, no, I'm I was good. wondering about the mithril. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay. Are you guys ready? Do you want me to pour it into the trunk? Well, the lead? Right. Create some space. Go ahead. <laughs> well, oh, it's it's not lead, but it's another precious metal. The, the golems are all made out of it, so I figured mm -hmm. if the box needs a precious metal, we don't have any lead because there's no lead here. Do you guys do we still want to try it with the mithril? Yeah, maybe we'll find some like gold in one of the other rooms or something anyway. Well, I'm only worried that if it doesn't work, it'll solidify and clog up all the systems. But ah, I'm it'll not gamble. Be fine. Let's pour it into the funnel. Ariana will I delicately pour the mithril into the funnel. Okay. Mithril pours through the fine piping and it's molten, shiny, white, brighter than silver form. You can, it passes all the way through and the crack around the edge of the chest begins to glow. Mm -hmm. And when it pours down out of the spout, it pools midair, like a 3D printer in fast speed fast motion and forms a key the heat is drawn from it it immediately solidifies and the key clatters to the ground you just printed a key oh that's really cool Brendan just points to the key magic <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah ma magic <laughs> dude another one do oh. another, do another. That's all the well, mithril that you found. It, it was oh. in very small supply. Well, well is there use, any other precious the metal? key and we, we can have a look in the other room. So if there's like gold, maybe there's silver or platinum, but see what this one does. Okay, sure. Ariana will pick up the key and mm -hmm. try to open up the chest. Okay, as soon as you touch it with the key in hand, the chest clicks and swings open. Light shines from inside a very large space, absolutely filled with gold, silver, and gems. Precious metals, did you ask? Uh, let's grab it. Starts like scooping out all of the treasure <gasps> that's inside of the chest. <laughs> Renan points again. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> what if this is the like school's bank account? What, what if this is the school's money? Who cares? They can make more. Did you not see that we made what about the key? inflation, Ariana, in this economy? <laughs> It doesn't just make exist more money. Here, Do you know what happens when you just make more money? It starts starting to explain the economics. Of <laughs> <laughs> Ariana <What>? just ignores. <laughs> Showing off passing down. numerology, are you? <clears throat> All right. Brilliant. Had to use it for something. <laughs> Get that gold, baby. <laughs> Does anyone have a bag of holding? No. Uh, I, like I have a. Maybe. What about my jeweler's tools? <laughs> that is not a magic bag of holding. <laughs> oh. I have secret bacon. No. I don't right think that is also not I have a bag. Fader aid. <laughs> so you can carry 15 times your strength mod your strength score. I thought mm -hmm. we were melting some of this down. F yeah, oh no, for sure. Are are you just grabbing it in order to melt it? Or are you like stuffing your pockets and hauling as much away as you can? Oh, so my goal right now is to empty out the chest. And so I'm going to like empty it all out onto the floor. <laughs> okay. How much time you got? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, do I get this... to keep the mithril key? Yes. Oh. Okay, then I'm just grabbing mm -hmm. handfuls of like gold. 
Okay. And I'm going to run to the other room and start like putting it into the... Okay, so you're just going to make a gold key. Yeah. Okay. So you're not going to try to empty the whole chest. Too. You just grab enough to make a gold key and run off. I, If I have access to the mithril key... Mm -hmm. And I can get back in there. Mm -hmm. Then we will always be rich forever. Ariana <laughs> is going to run the magical fed. <laughs> I have decided it is time for some quantitative easing. <laughs> <laughs> Come, fellas, I shall save the economy with my myth. Is there key. anything special about the gold? Is it just normal gold? Uh, there's no. I lied when I said there was silver. There's literally only gold and platinum and oh. gems and stuff. Okay, so As then I will take gold. And and I will also take some platinum and okay. run off to the other room. All right. And there is nothing special. Shiny gems. We all consider platinum to be more valuable. Yes. Yes. It, ten ten gold is one platinum. I have a strength of twelve. <laughs> so fifty coins weighs one pound. You can carry fifteen <laughs> pounds for every point of strength. That is your that is your math project. Figure out how many coins you can haul. <laughs> that is a that's a lot of coins. Wait, oh, I have an idea. <gasps> can can we grab one of the robes that like shifts into different stuff and like <laughs> tie it into a bag? <laughs> and track well, it? given that chat gave you something, uh, yes, there's a there's a robe that is specifically designed to have incredibly long trails on it, and you can. Knit them up to form a huge cartoon bag. <laughs> robe of enormous pockets. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want to? Do you guys want to fill this up and take it? Um, I feel like it might arouse some suspicion. <laughs> You're walking down this. <laughs> also, the magic carpet does, in fact, have a weight limit. Ah. Uh, okay. I I will take my water skin and grab a couple handfuls of random gemstones too. Okay. Oh, we're gonna get some good commemorative jewelry out of this. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Eye off looting friendship bracelets. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's just picking random jewels, but like this one's shiny. This one's shinier. Okay. Like going up to like Earth Lord, do you see how shiny it is? <laughs> yes, Renin Valley's indeed quite shiny. Good job. So shiny. So it's like noticing Renin is acting off and is like, mm -hmm. looks at the horn, looks at Renin. We made funny juice. Renin got funnier. <laughs> and you're funny. Oh, wow. That's some advanced magic. Magic? magic. You can make, you can make people funny, funny with this. <laughs> This will be really useful. Are you okay, Renan? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, great, fine, wonderful, fantastic, beautiful. I, I simply take some 20 happy. platinum pieces. All right, go ahead and add that to your inventory. Uh, Renan, you have a transparent dark green gemstone in your hand, which oddly Ooh. enough is called Alexandrite. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> no really? Oh. All right. I recognize this. Ariana, <laughs> you take some gold and some platinum. You make a succession of keys. If you close the chest, you, you can only make the key if the chest is closed. Yeah, so I'll have like <clears throat> like the platinum, for example, like melting and I've got the gold ready to go because that mm -hmm. actually melts faster. Uh, and so I'll go over to the chest and mm -hmm. I'll be, I'll guess I'll ask the group like, are you guys, are you guys done? Take what you want. We're good. I'll probably take some platinum as well. Mm -hmm. well. How much did you say you can take, Leg? Uh, uh, I took 20. I can carry a lot more, but I just figured that, hey, I don't, I don't want to completely de <laughs> destabilize the economy. <laughs> Renan holds up his one singular gem. Here's I the thing. So much. So many things. Here's the thing. People, if, you, if you start spending all this money all in one place, people will have questions to ask. Okay, we'll take a, the same amount, the 20 platinum, mm -hmm. and any strength issues uno or noir will just help me carry money <laughs> you've got like a scrooge mcduck servant yeah <laughs> me along bags of coin <laughs> come along over there noir well, well, just, in like, view feed... of the poor people well what a... could i feed them to una she'll just like <laughs> ingest the money there's no guarantee they'll survive given that una is like a void imp 
Oh, never mind them. <laughs> I would have put, I would have, yeah. You'd know I that. You wouldn't, that. yeah, that's totally. fine. That's fine. <laughs> So besides, yeah, I think we're robbing. done. Yeah, cool. You have not emptied out all the the treasure from that dimension. Okay, by the way. Is right. there a garnet in there? <clears throat> there is not, because a garnet, no offense, garnet, would not be sufficiently valuable. Bro, oh, nice. emotional, damn. Unlucky. Damn. emotional damage. I'm sure there's a ruby in there, though. Yeah, so. you could have just. Yeah. I'll grab a red one. You could have okay. just. Are you telling me yes. that the one she had to slay in the Clash of the Codex was sufficiently more valuable than her and made for cut? In oh, name oops. only. In name only. There's a ruby yeah. in there for sure, though. Yeah. I, I grabbed it. She's in there like cold person, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Doesn't find a guard at just depression. <laughs> All right, so oh, you pulled no. a ruby out of there. Whoever... I, I pulled a bunch of different crap out. All right, there are 16 yeah. gemstones in there, but in order to find them, you're going to need to spend some time Scrooge McDucking through no, all I this. Just, I, maybe I'll pull out like four random ones. Okay. And then Can one of them be a diamond. No, Boy. there are no diamonds in this one. Oh, actually, yes, it's a diamond worth 500 gold. Any revivifiers in the chat? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Ooh, no, it's revivifier. a diamond worth 500 gold for sure. Oh. These are 500 gold gemstones. Okay. Neat. I'm going to pick four random ones. Okay. And then some gold, uh, some. Gold and some platinum for the jewelry making purposes only. Okay. And then after everyone's good, I'll close the chest and make the gold key. Okay. The gold key opens a completely different... Let's see. This was mithril, platinum, gold. The gold key opens a much smaller compartment filled with completely different treasure, including a scattering of copper, silver, some gold pieces, some art artifacts thrown in there left and right. But still a sizable cache. Taking some silver to start melting that too. <laughs> do, do any of the artifacts seem reminiscent of a like art of Luminius? Hmm. No physical artifacts are believed to have survived the fall of Luminius, given that even the individuals who survived had to assume new forms. But no, none of the things in here <clears throat> represent Luminius. Athalor, mm. if Ioth had a treasure that reminded him of Luminius, he'd probably keep it out there. He, he wouldn't stuff it in one of his multi-dimensional. And also, similarly, Ariana, the platinum key and the silver key open. Platinum space is larger than the gold space, and the silver space is the smallest that you've opened so far. And it's just treasure caches. Mm -hmm. It's like a bunch of different treasure chests all nestled together. How heavy is this chest? It is fused <laughs> to the floor. Damn How it. heavy is the floor? <laughs> no. Oh, can I? Can I try to? Because I'm just curious. Mm -hmm. Can I uh, <laughs> mold earth? No, because mold earth doesn't work on worked stone. I believe it specifically says it doesn't work on worked stone. Dang. That said, chat did give you a bag of holding, a very stylish bag of holding that was uh. In his in Ioth's wardrobe, Ooh. It's, it's it's got like supreme across it. Exactly, <laughs> <laughs> supreme. Do do we want to take this stuff? Um, it will take you some time to just scoop 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 you don't have shovels or anything so you're literally just scrooge mcducking with your hands yes we do what are you talking about where'd you get shovels from the forge i see tools on the ground okay 
<laughs> Shovel check. Wrecked. Owned with facts and logic. <laughs> We're in a forge. <laughs> so you go over from the coal and just like... Yeah. Keep in mind, if you overfill the bag, it uh, explodes. Hmm. And its contents Money are explosion. drained into the astral plane. Oh. But it can, it can hold up to 500 pounds. That's a lot of coin. That is... What's 500 times 50? <gasps> Too much. Uh, 25,000. Ooh. Also, Chet has gifted you a shovel. <laughs> Let's go! A second the shovel. Best. Athletic shovel. <laughs> <laughs> From infinite money. <laughs> Do you literally want to just empty out the mithril box? <laughs> Do you want to drain the Eye of Academy treasury? Y slash N. Do you want to rob the school fund? <laughs> <laughs> All the money from the bank fund? sale. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this is absolutely Ioth's cache of treasures from his adventuring days. Uh, well, he doesn't Rude, need it anymore. That's under true. it, law check. The metalworking on uh, Athalor's gauntlet mm -hmm. is that a special kind of elven steel? It is steel with a small alloy of mithril. Oh, okay. So probably not anything new in terms of key generation. Correct. I'm going to shovel as much as I can. <laughs> okay, Ariana just gets to work. I, I will help with the shoveling as I think I have a high strength modifier. Okay. What are Garnet and Renan doing while you're just plundering a 20th level mage's private sanctum? <laughs> yeah. At level four. four. Renan's just taking the gem and just starts wandering and is just okay. talking to the gem. He starts talking to it? Okay. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is a pretty gem. You're such a pretty gem. Did you know that? It's magic. Magic got you here. Crazy. And he's just wandering. <laughs> he's getting... Has been like around Renan and is getting increasing, increasingly more concerned and is just like keeping an eye on him. But is now also... Keep paying more close attention to the mold of the Titan Heart to figure out what it was, you know, what material mm -hmm. was being molded in it and, you know, what kind of the purpose of it was. Okay. Well, as... Is it takeable? As it what? Is it takeable? Yeah, you could take it. It's just sitting there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're going to come out with, like, arms full, like... This was a good trip. <laughs> if we get back to Tarsal more, just laden with fucking loot. Where have you been? I bought this with me from home. Exactly. Um, yeah, I didn't trade luggage with anyone in the airport or anything. All right. <laughs> As Ariana gets near the bottom of this extra dimensional space into which you have to step down into the chest and like shovel things out. <laughs> Although you can bring the bag of holding with you. So I imagine you're down there just like... Yeah. The two of them standing in this room. It's probably as big as a small bedroom. Just filled with just shoveling gems and coins. You stumble across. Two curious objects. Ooh. Ooh. This is the weirdest date we've been on yet. <laughs> a pearly white spindle. And a rod. Pearly and before we uncover the mystery of what's going on with that, we're going to take a short break. So don't go anywhere, folks. Mm -hmm. IOTH Academy's Monty Hall Special Edition will continue. <laughs> don't go anywhere. <laughs> 